Hi, this is Kathy Yaffa with School Spotlight, and here I am today at the Centerville Elementary School, where we're going to see some great things going on. So I'm just going to ring the bell, get buzzed in, and I'll meet you folks in the lobby with the principal, Carla Pressman. Hello. Hi. Thank you so much for letting us come in and disrupt your whole day and um, let us see such wonderful things that are going on here at the Centerville School. Well, we welcome you to Centerville and we are so happy that you're here with us today. We are a K-5 elementary school with 380 students and what you are going to see today is our focus on wellness. Healthy eating and healthy living have a direct correlation to academic success and today you are going to meet Joyce Pryor our school nurse and Leanne Harwood a paraprofessional and they're going to talk about some of our initiatives um, specifically taste testing Tuesday and you are actually going to be able to witness taste testing Tuesday in Mrs. Ridge's first grade class and they're very excited about that you will learn today in your visit about Be Healthy Beverly, that initiative, early morning recess, veggie bars, raised vegetable gardens that our third graders are growing, and the walking school bus. You will also have an opportunity to meet Scott Wassell, our art teacher, and he is going to share with you some of the exciting projects that he and his students are working on. Well, that sounds exciting. So let's go on to Taste Testing Tuesday. We'll See you in a classroom in a few minutes. Good morning, Mrs. Oh. Rich. Good, Good morning, morning, Mrs. Pryor. Guess what day it is today? Taste Testing Tuesday! Here's Taste Testing Tuesday. Mrs. Harwood and I decided to come together for Taste Testing Tuesday today. So today, our vegetable is... Potato! It's a sweet potato. Can I tell you a couple things about sweet potatoes? So listen up because I want to tell you a couple things about sweet potatoes. Are you ready? Yeah. Remember last week we talked about three um, main parts of each plant. Remember the part that grows under the ground is the? The part that shoots up from the soil? Excellent, you remember. And the part that's at the top? That's right, leaves. The sweet potato, I want you to raise your hand if you know what part the sweet potato is. No voices. Raise your hand if you know root, st stem, or leaves. Raise your hand if you know. Emerson, go ahead and tell me. Um, stem? That's not right, though it's a good guess. Bella? Root. Root. Sweet potato is a root. So sweet potato grows under the ground. It's a root vegetable. Did anybody have sweet potatoes for Thanksgiving? Raise your hand if you did. I did. I did. And many people did. Many people did. That's awesome. And I brought some sweet potatoes for you to taste. Yay! Usually, do you remember, what did we have last week for Taste Testing Tuesday? Raise your hand if you remember. Oh. What did we have? Excellent. It was a bean sprout. It was a little plant. Do you remember? It had the root, the stem, and the leaf. Do you remember you held it in your hand and you could eat the whole thing? Yeah. Now, now, think hard. Get your memory working. The week before, what did we have? Raise your hand if you know. Lindsay. Cabbage. We had cabbage. Does anybody remember where, and this is very special, where did that cabbage come from? Go ahead and tell me. The, the cabbage is the leaf of the plant. That's correct. Absolutely correct. And do you know where did we grow that? Do you remember? Oh, the garden. And where's the garden? Uh, outside where, we're, where we play. Outside where we play. Our school's very special, isn't it? All the elementary schools in Beverly are very special because each of us have a garden. So that cabbage came from our garden. These sweet potatoes didn't come from our garden. I'm going to open this up for you. We cooked them. So the sweet potato, we took off the skin with a peeler, we cut them up, and then we roasted them, meaning they're in a hot oven. For It took a little while. It took maybe 40 minutes. And if you want to hold that sweet potato, you can, and pass it along after you do. I'm going to put your hand out, and I'm going to put a piece of a sweet potato in your hand, OK? Mm, I had them. 
and you can taste them. Yeah. Wow. Of course I Mrs. Know. Ridge always tastes. Yeah, yeah. Now, while I'm passing these out, excellent. Here you go. So listen up for a second. I want to tell you something. Everybody, listen up. I want to tell you something. You've heard me say this before. If by chance you are a first time trier, try just a little tiny bit. Have you heard me say that before? Yeah. yeah try just good. a little tiny bit because that helps you become brave or adventurous enough to try again. Now, when you try something new, sometimes you'll like it. Sometimes you might not like it. Either way is fine. It's just awesome that you have your adventurous spirit together enough to try it. And I see so many hands out, I think. Wow. Every single hand is out. And do you know, students, I have to tell you, when we do Taste Testing Tuesday, almost everybody tries all the time. So give that a try. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it a try, too. Mm. Yeah. I want you to raise your hand if it's the first time you've tried a sweet potato. Holy cow, that's terrific. And again, maybe you liked it and maybe you didn't. Either way, it doesn't matter. You should be giving yourself a pat on the back just for trying it, being adventurous enough to try it. So everybody, super job. When will I see you next? Tuesday. I'll see you next Tuesday. Bye, everybody. Bye. Oh, hey, listen, let me tell you one last thing. Where are we going to put this? On the board. We're going to put this up on the bulletin board for your class because so many people had an adventurous um, spirit and tried sweet potatoes. Super job, you guys. Now I am here with... And Cecilia. Cecilia. And what grade are you in, Cecilia? I am in second grade. Ah, so you've been doing Taste Testing Tuesday for two years now. Okay. And what did you think for, at first when you heard you were going to do taste testing in school? I thought that I would taste all kinds of different foods. Were you excited to do that? Yes. And so what's happened now? You, you've taste tested through first grade. What were some of the things that you taste tested back in first grade? I tasted beets, sweet potatoes, green beans, and and raisins. Uh, and what was your favorite? Raisins and beets were pretty good. They were pretty good, huh? And yeah. what have you done this year? This year we mm -hmm. have done cabbage and a baby plant. Oh, the, are these here? Hmm, yes. They look like beans of some kind. Bean sprouts, maybe? or Yeah. Yeah? Okay. And what is this that we're looking at over here? Well, it's all of the names of the grades, and if a lot of people in the class tasted one, we put a photo of it and staple it on the board. Oh, very good. Oh, I see over here, yeah. we have labeled cabbage, bean sprout, and, and sweet, sweet potato, potato, which is today is Tuesday, yes. so today is, is sweet potato day. Yes. yes. And, and um, so you enjoy taste testing Tuesday? Very much. What advice would you give to a student who's new to this? What would you say about it? I would tell them that you're allowed to like things, at least you taste them. You're allowed to dislike and like, at least if you taste it. The idea is to try it. Yes. And see if you like it. Yes. Okay, that's very good. And I hear to, that uh, today's a special day for you. Yes, it is my birthday. Well, happy birthday. Thank and you. you get to have a very good vegetable today. Sweet potato is a very yes. nice vegetable to yes. celebrate for your birthday. When I was when I was like months old, I liked to eat them. I loved them when I was When you when were a baby? Was, yeah. I am here now with Joyce Pryor, who is the school nurse here at the Centerville Elementary School and who's very much involved in the wellness program here at the Centerville School. And the wellness program is part of a larger initiative, 
Uh, could you tell us a little bit about that larger initiative? Who's Started it? it is, it is. It's part of Be Healthy Beverly, or some of our ideas have come from, through Be Healthy Beverly. Um, and Be Healthy Beverly is a grant um, program that is through the YMCA. It involves Beverly Hospital and, and many partners throughout Beverly. So I've worked closely with the Be Healthy Beverly project. And what are some of the things, some of the programs that Be Healthy Beverly has initiated in all the schools citywide? Sure. In the elementary schools in Beverly, Be Healthy Beverly has um, initiated veggie bars. So in every elementary school, there's a veggie bar for the children at lunchtime. And they can choose their vegetables, um, what they're eating from the veggie bars. And those are set up every day. Um, and another um, project that they have done is um, raised garden beds, which have been a great success. Again, those are in every elementary school in Beverly. And the, the raised garden beds, um, the third graders, it's part of their curriculum um, to work in the gardens and to work with Garden City growers who, who help us with the raised garden beds. And it's been a, a terrific success. The third graders love being the gardeners. And um, the produce from that garden, we eat here at school from the cafeteria. Uh, the cafeteria prepares the food and we're able to eat it. And we also use some of that for Taste Testing Tuesday. Now, if you're getting into Taste Testing Tuesday, that is something unique to the Centerville School, correct? It is. And how did that get started? It is. It got started because we, we had the raised, we had the um, um, veggie bars and we realized that some of the children really weren't familiar with the vegetables being um, put out on the veggie bars or weren't comfortable eating them or didn't want to be brave enough to eat them. Um, so um, another staff member and myself um, came up with Taste Testing Tuesday. Um, and it's, it's um, been a terrific success. So Taste Testing Tuesday is just a very simple idea. On Tuesdays, um, we go to each individual classroom. So I think there's 19 at our school. And we take a vegetable. Today was sweet potatoes. We take a vegetable and tell the children a little bit about that vegetable. Encourage them to um, uh, kind of get in touch with a little bit of adventurous spirit and try something new. And um, then the children, if they're willing to try something new, they put their hand out and, and we put the um, vegetable in their hands and they try it. Um, and I think just the, it's, it's, it's been more successful than we even thought it would be. And I think some of the camaraderie between the children um, and just the excitement of Taste Testing Tuesday has helped it be a big success. And so more of them now participate in the veggie bars in the cafeteria? Uh, yes, they adults? do. Yes, they do. Um, a couple weeks ago, we had kale from our garden. Um, and so the cafeteria made kale chips for us. And I took that around for Taste Testing Tuesday. Now, most of the children had never tried kale chips before. And they had been in the cafeteria, but they weren't eating them from there either. So we did it for Taste Testing Tuesday. That day I took along a fifth grader actually with me who loved kale chips, and he helped me that day. Um, and then after that point, when I talked to the cafeteria, after they tried it, and they were very willing to try it in the classroom, um, they went back and the kale chips were gone from the cafeteria that day. Yeah, they really I don't think I've ever had kale chips. Uh, have to delicious, and we could have many young children <laughs> tell you that now. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's great. We I, also find that the kids tell their parents about these things. I get a, I get a lot of calls or emails from parents saying, um, my kid ate bean sprouts yeah. or um, <laughs> really kale chips? How do you make them? And, and now they know what these vegetables are. No longer will we have a generation of children who work in the supermarket and don't recognize the... That's right. The, we talk about some of the basics, the root, the stem, and the leaves. Um, we talk about the fact that vegetables are grown in soil. Um, so that when children, I would bring in, for instance, a carrot that had soil still on it, and the kids would say, ooh, ooh, and really not understand how important the soil was to the growth of the plant. Um, so sometimes we'll be teaching very basic things. Yeah, and science. It's, it's, it's absolutely science. Absolutely. It sounds great. Um, so you have Taste Testing Tuesdays, which is um, unique, and to Centerville. You also have the garden which is a school-wide yes, part of this initiative. Right. And um, let's see, from what I understand, Centerville is also involved in physical activity as part of this whole wellness program. We are. I mean, really what we um, believe and what research has, has shown us all and is becoming certainly more and more prevalent is that increasing physical activity 
and increasing nutrition are both very important to academic success. Um, and so we wanted to um, incorporate both of those things um, in the school and just encourage it in any small way that we could. So a couple things that came with regards to physical activity. Um, we started with something very basic, morning recess. Um, the children are often here 15 or 20 minutes before the bell rings. Um, and they used to sit in the hallway, sit quietly in the hallways and were supervised um, by teachers prior to going into the classroom. And in talking more about that, we, we thought, you know, let's, let's have the kids go outside and play. That would, it's great 15, 20 minutes for children to play outside. That's what we started calling morning recess. Um, so that started last year, and now the children come uh, in, still in through the front door, but go right outside to the playground um, and look forward to it. For the most part, everybody looks forward to it. They play, they run, they have a great time, all before school starts. So we were able to um, you know, get, help children get another 15 to 20 minutes of activity prior to school even starting. Oh, that's great. And I've also heard simple of, ideas, yes, simple very, ideas, which, which I think this program is really based on some good, basic, simple ideas. You, Veggie Bar Enthusiasts, what's your name? Hi, my name's Ryan. And what grade are you in, Ryan? I'm in third grade. And your name? My name is Nikki Aracola, and I'm in third. And you're in third grade. Okay, so two third graders. Do you like to eat from the Veggie Bar? Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah? What's your favorite? Um... I really like the apples and the list so, so we can like have our salads, so we can create our own salad because some, sometimes it doesn't come with our meal uh -huh. so we can just come here and make our own salad. Sounds like fun. Yeah. And how about you? Um, what mine, do you like? I like the apples. You like the apples? Yeah. What else? What other vegetables? Um, like any greens? Yeah. Ah. It looks like that's a lot of good stuff on here. Do you know the names of all these things? Yeah. I see, what is that, cranberries? Yep, cranberries, broccoli, um, spinach, um, cucumbers, carrots, chickpeas. I have no idea what those are. Those um, are noodles, crunchies, something, I don't know. Okay. Um, and oranges. Very good. So you get that a good so you get a good selection. Now when they first put the veggie bar in, did you rush right to it to take stuff or no? Um, I, I was like, I was, I was really excited, but I couldn't buy lunch the first, like, the first time it was open, so they my mom gave me a chance, like, on Fridays, I, last year, I always got to, um, go to the Fiji bar, because I buy lunch on Fridays last year. Very good. But, so, because it was pizza day, and my mom wanted me to have pizza, and, um, do you like pizza better or do you like veggies better? I like, I really like veggies. Oh, wow, that's good. That's good to hear. Yeah. And how about you? At first you weren't that enthusiastic about it. It's because I didn't know about it at first. Yeah. And then I found out. And did Taste Testing Tuesday help you to learn more about the different vegetables? Yeah. yeah. It really I think helped. Taste Testing Tuesday is awesome. It's they awesome. never had that when I was in school. We had sweet potatoes today for Taste Testing Tuesday. I saw that. I love sweet potatoes. Do you like sweet potatoes? Yeah. Did you have them for Thanksgiving? No. My other family members. Ah. Do you like sweet potatoes? Yeah. yeah. My mom made it for us. Very good. Well, thank you very much for sharing with us your veggie bar experience. Now you can go finish your lunch. Colin. Colin? Yes. And, wait, and you're in third grade? Yes, I'm in third grade. I actually skipped up first. Oh, wow. Yeah. And you were a gardener? Uh, yes. We, we did the, uh, the outdoor planting outside just over there. Uh, in the in the playground, which would be right over there, and um, and so we basically had three, and um, and I think uh, I I think it was sort of a um, and it really worked out well, cause um, you know it. It was fun. Of, yeah, it was fun. And I think. What, what were the plants? Say, do you remember um, the names of some of them? Yes, I know. We did some cabbage. We did some peppers. Um, we did some, um, squash? Some no, I know, I know we did tomatoes. Tomato. No, and you know, I heard um, something that last Tuesday, mm -hmm. for Taste Testing Tuesday, yep. you had cabbage. And the cabbage, or maybe it wasn't last Tuesday, but I saw it up on the, on the Taste Testing yeah. board that you had cabbage. Was I that from your garden? 
I think, um, I don't know, but I know that our class had uh, kale. Um, kale. But I think that might have been a little before, because I don't remember another Tuesday, but I know we did do kale. that. We had kale yeah, chips, Yeah, actually, you know what, probably they, I don't know, I, but, um, yeah, so they, they did kale chips, and that was, that was really fun. Um, I, so what's I, your favorite? Um, what's my favorite thing in the garden? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Um, I know what mine would be. What? Tomatoes. Uh, I love tomatoes. I do you really, like tomatoes? I really don't know what my favorite would be. But you like, you like veggies. Yeah, I, I like everyone. I also heard about your walking school bus program. Right. The whole idea is that the walking school bus is a structured program. Um, children start um, from, for our school, four different parts of the city and volunteers and staff help walk them into school. So this happens before school starts um, and it included all of the children in Centerville. So all the children who are neighborhood children plus the children who are bused. So we worked closely with Bill Burke from the department from um, Beverly Transportation to help us with the children who are bused. So the children who are bused to school were dropped off at the Harry Ball Field and we probably had oh, 15 to 20 staff people down there to receive the children and walk them into school. And how often does this happen? Um, this year we're doing it twice um, and our hope is not to do this on a daily basis but that it is encouraging um, more people to walk to school. Um, and, and I believe that it is. I, I believe we have more walkers than we have and the children love the walking school bus. So our last walking school bus we had um, over 280 children walking to school that wow. day. Um, and we had between 50 and 60 parents who walked to school that day with their children, which was just really fun. Um, and probably again, maybe 20 staff people from Centerville, teachers, paraprofessionals, uh, myself, the principal, who walked to school with the children from Harry Ballfield that day. When you're drawing your, your self-portrait, you should start with an egg shape. It's kind of an, in, uh, an egg on its, on its skinniest end is the bottom there. It's because your chin is thinner than the top of your head. It's just inevitable. Everybody has sort of an egg shape, even, if, even though some are different shapes and sizes. We all start with an egg. And take your time with the egg. It takes a little effort to get that first egg. But you're going to be looking in mirrors too, so we'll get those out in a second. But you're going to, you, you look for your egg. Some eggs are a little wider in the jaw, some eggs have a slightly pointier chin, but you're looking for your, your egg. That's the first step. Halfway down, if you kind of find the halfway point, you don't have to make a mark there. The human, a human has eyes halfway down on its head. So this is true about all people. Let me grab the mask. This will make your face look a lot more human. At first it looks like an alien, but you'll, no, you'll notice that this mask has the eyes halfway down. This is what your drawings are at first going to look like. It's going to be a, a weird looking thing at first. And you've done this before, but put the, Maureen, put that on. Can you see? All right, so does, does this mean that if I p pass this around, some of you would be able to see and some of you wouldn't be able to see out of the eyes? No. So you, the, whole, the whole point here is your eyes are halfway down. And if we pass this around, I can't quite fit it on my face, but if we passed it around, you would be able to see out of there because that's where, that's where human eyes are. They're halfway down on your head. Um, look, for, look for your eye. Of course, the, the shape and the size can vary, but it has, generally has kind of a football or a lemon shape. Try to find them and place them. One thing to consider as you're starting your, your eyes, there's about the space of an eye in, in the middle, in between your two eyes. So if I measured my eye this way, and I took the measurement between my eyes, it's about the same measurement. So it can kind of help you. There should be about the length of an eye in the midst of in the middle of your eyes. And then of course you can make eyelashes and eye, eyelids and whatever else you see in, is detail. Um, ears start right at the point where your eye is. So like 
we glasses wearing people ha have this nice uh, level spot right there so that your ear works well for your vision. But it kind of pops down to about the nose. So if you, if you find that line, boom, boom, it's kind of uh, right in that space. You can look for your actual hair. Necks are, are tricky. Most people make necks too skinny. Look for the actual width of your neck. Um, it's, it's generally thinner than your head, but it kind of comes down from the bottom of your jaw a little bit. Look for the actual neck. And then uh, whatever your shirt line is, Shoulders, also a lot of kids make shoulders too small, little gerbil shoulders, but your shoulders are about twice the width of your head in general. So, I hear that girl's got some hair coming down. So anyway, she's still got that creepy eye, I didn't finish, but, um, but this is what you should do. Obviously, this is just a generic person. You need to think, how do I use these facial proportions that, that we're talking about but still make it look like you, because you are slightly different than this person, and some of you are more like this maybe than others, but we are all slightly different from each other, but we have a lot of similarities too. So look for your actual self in the mirror, and, and we can get started. Um, kindergarten through fifth. Oh, okay. And this is your fifth grade. Yep, they're in there working right on self-portraits right now. Okay. And here are some previous projects that the fifth grade has done. Um, this is the different different grade levels. We got uh, fifth grade teapots that are not supposed to look like teapots. They're supposed to be the sculptures that function as teapots. Um, Hummingbird is a first grade project where we look at um, animals of North America and the kids make drawings of the animals and then sculptures. Fourth graders do the masks. Um, castles are third grade and kindergarten are doing the little snowmen there. So. They look great. Mm -hmm. And then they glaze them? We will them? be putting glaze. This one here has already finished glaze on it. Um, these ones will get this, a similar thing. And I see on the thing. inside they have a, yep. a little design. Very good. And you have lots of things over here on the wall? Yeah, these are a couple projects. Um, this one here is just a geometric shape design with the third graders. Um, here is a first grade, uh, mainly, a, I call it the line design, but it's, it's a brush control, uh, practicing their brush control is kind of project. Watercolor? This here is tempera. Okay. This is crayon with, with watercolor, watercolor resist. Um, I've got a few of those. And, and some self-portraits down the hall there. Oh, and also. that's what this class is working on And they're now. working on one. Right okay. At, right. They're doing a collage uh, mixed in with the self-portrait. So they have your portrait and then things that they like? Yeah, it, it's a, they, we looked at um, a little of Robert Rauschenberg's work, um, and he put oftentimes just random things together and let the, let the viewer kind of interpret how, how it is to be interpreted. So. Not all of it has to do with things they like. Some, some of it is just absolute random uh, combinations of things. And there's some second grade, second grade self-portraits where they did a design with their names along with their self-portrait. Like quite into it. Yeah, these ones are really looking good. So, That's good. So the ones that are, the children in there now in fifth grade are working on their self-portrait. They're just starting one, yeah, minutes. And do you have um, um, art displays or, or any uh, we do, we do a, um, an exhibit for the whole school in the spring, uh -huh. so the kids are kind of working toward that, and they, they all get to show two works of art 
um, in the exhibit and we have an open house and let the families come in. Um, and then I try to keep rotating this as many times as I can so that kids, all the kids get up on the board. Well, that was a very exciting morning. Um, Taste Testing Tuesday and art projects and thank you so much for inviting us here today. And um, have a wonderful rest of the day, Tuesday, which, how can that compare to taste testing? Thank you, and thank, thank you for being with us today. Thank you for, for letting me share a little bit about Centerville School. Well, we really enjoyed it. Thank you. We we